Hey, hey everybody, this is Melina from scrapbookingwithme.com and um, I'm going to show y'all the, um, what is this month? The March <laughs> e-club kit. I'm going to show you the March e-club kit and this is also week four of my 30,000 subscriber giveaway. I'm calling it Melina's March Madness and we have four sheets four free digital sheets um, that will be included in week four. Um, so that will be a total of 11 pages. So our first two pages, week one, were those two pages, some tags and ephemera and a journal page. Second week was these two pages and there were um, some file folder pockets and I used those. Those file folder pockets were on this sheet so along with some number labels and things and some little uh, tucks and another journal page. Okay so that's four sheets that was um, week one, week two, and then week three, we had three pages. So we had more number and um, word labels, and then pockets for our library cards, and then there's our library cards that go in those pockets. Tickets, and more tickets, and then we had these large journal cards here. Say, okay, that was, say, that was week three, and this is week four. They are all journal pages for week four. And um, I had had requests for background pages, and so two of these in this, I think, will go really well as background pages. And um, the other two are a little bit busier, but still great journal pages so they might would be good the like this one might be good as a background you know to print on the back of and I apologize for my finger there I just noticed that my cuticle is a little damaged so this one has um, like, kind of like ledger lines and it's split down the middle so perfect for folding in half and making a journal page out of and we've got a floral image on either side and then we've got like the um, roller stamp kind of thing kind of vintage looking roller stamp date on there and then like if you fold this in half, you're going to have that on one side and that on the other. How pretty is that? This is another page. The background is um, like an old newsprint talking about photography. And we've got two beautiful butterflies on those pages. And when you fold that in half, you have the one complete butterfly on the front and the other on the back. So pretty. This one would also make a beautiful background to print on the backs of all of your journal pages. So it's like a damask print and it matches the blues and greens and the grayscale that we've been working on this whole month. And then it's got um, like an old vintage postage, um, canceled postage on it that says Paris and you just got barely a little bit on that edge and then more of it on that edge and then this is the last page and it goes along with uh, week one's page and the let's see let me find it the um, kind of floral from week one on the tags and then week one's page two but week one is a little more on the green tone and this one is more on the aqua tone but everything is um, grayscale like a cool cool color and I'm going to get all these together and we're going to count this is going to be available all of this will be available um, as a kit on our website at scrapbookingwithme.com so one two three four 
five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven, wherever that other page is. Is this it? No, I've got that page. Where's my page I'm missing? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I didn't count something. <laughs> Anyways, it's an eleven page kit and um, I have just been making a few pages of it every week this month in March to celebrate me reaching 30,000 subscribers here on YouTube. And um, the four pages from week four, all four will be available on my coffee website and to my members also. So I'll have them in both places. So this week, I'm giving all four to my um, supporters on Kofi website for free and then all four to my members on your um, little section on the website that you go to to get your member perks. That'll be on there. But if you would like to just download the entire kit, 11 pages, all together in one download, I will have them available for purchase on our website at scrapbookingwithme.com. They will be a whole $4.99 for the entire 11 page kit. So just thought that if there were some that did get a few pages off a coffee website and wanted all the rest of them, then you know you could get that. If you are a member here on my YouTube channel and you pay monthly for your membership, just like when you pay monthly to go to Sam's Club or Costco. You get to shop in Costco because you've got a membership there. Okay, so if you're a member here out on my YouTube channel, you get the entire 11 pages for free because you pay monthly to be a member here on my YouTube channel. So thank you so much for doing that. But I do know that not everybody can do that. So if you want to get all 11 pages together in one download, you can shop on scrapbookingwithme.com, get all 11 pages for $4.99, one-time purchase, and you can print it as much as you want to. Same for my members. You can download those and print them as many times as you would like. You just cannot print them, download them to your computer, and then try to resell them as your own design. That is a no-no, and if I find out that is copyright infringement. So no, 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 you cannot do that. And you wonder why in the world I have to say things like that. Y'all would be shocked. I mean, just teetotally shocked. So anyway, uh, 11 pages that we have made, um, well, that I have made <laughs> and offered ye <laughs> this month. <laughs> Uh, and uh, it has been my privilege and honor to be able to give away some of this for free. Can't do everything for free because I still got to pay bills. I got to buy stuff so that I can show y'all. Um, but it has been fun to do this. I liked the way this all turned out and doing this for um, my Melina's March Madness celebrating my 30,000 subscribers here on YouTube. It's been very fun. So that was week four. And then this is the March E-Club kit. And it has some colors that you might go, oh, okay, yes, those look very familiar. It's kind of Mardi Gras color themed, but it's not Mardi Gras as far as the designs and stuff like that. But the colors I thought went kind of toward the Mar Mardi Gras kind of colors. So you've got some tags. I don't know how many you will have in yours. Um, I kind of get the leftovers and if they had some a lot of tags left over I got some of them. So I don't know if you've got four in yours, if you've got five in yours, I have no clue. This is just how many that I got in mine because they knew this was coming to my house when they packed it, okay? You get some Nouveau drops and 
Not sure if everybody got green. You might have got purple. You might have got gold. Um, you might have got a, a pale yellow. But this is a green, and it is called, let me see if I can find the color name on this one, Bottle Green. Huh. Nouveau Bottle Green. And then you got some satin purple ribbon, and then some white cotton ribbon, like a twill. I think it was, that's what it, they called it, like a twill. Anyway, um, and this can be dyed if you wanted to do that, but it's a nice, just a white cotton. You got a whole pack of 49 and Market Grove Acetate Leaves, but it just says leaves, but there are butterflies all in this also. So they're all acetate, and here's what those look like. So you do have a lot of leaves, but there's butterflies in there too, all on a green scale. Then your 49 and Market Grove 6x8 Mini Collection Pack. So it totally matches that and then matches some of the greens that are in the tag sets also. I try to get matchy matchy for y'all and this paper is so pretty. It is called Grove but it has other colors besides green in it so this page has some blue in it and then on the opposite side look at that how pretty beautiful greens. There's two of each design and 49 and Market makes some of the thickest cardstock but it is so sturdy. This one also has some floral blues in it. Oh that's pretty. But lots of green and hopefully most of most of the world is dealing with some green outside right now instead of winter maybe except for mm, who is who is it across the across the world for me australia you're you're going through winter you're about to enter winter right am i correct anyway so that is the 49 and market grove six by eight papers lots of them too um that came off of one of my tags so i'll put that over there then you get some collage paper so it's a little thicker than rice paper a little thinner in my opinion than regular copy paper so it's really easy to just tear and add to but i'm thinking i might want to cut out some of these and add them to a project. I mean, look at that. Now you're not gonna get the exact sheets that I, I'm getting. Let me count these real quick and see how many it looks like you're gonna get. I think 10. I think there will be 10 in your kit and you're gonna, just gonna get a multi-variety. Multi look, see, those would be so cute to cut apart and use as word labels little phrases so pretty little collage paper I love that like little paper dolls or a, a vintage pattern very pretty collage paper and you also get some enamel dots that go along with the colors in the kit and you get a kind of a um, taupey brown but they basil just calls it craft so we're going to go with that craft and then this one is called great delight so you get some purple in that you get some purple in your collage papers you get some purple in your ribbon and purple in your tags but everything else is pretty much on green scale i love this kit you know purple is not as widely used that color is just not as widely used as it used to be i remember growing up in the 90s purple was a thing i mean purple was it i loved purple and um, we have not seen it a lot in new collections here lately so i was very happy to see this and i love the watercolor look on that one tag. Um, one project that I do believe I'm going to work on with this kit is um, 
making a little folio. I saw um, a pink Monarch Prince the other day making a nice little folio and it um, just folded in half. So she had like an eight and a half by 11 maybe, maybe a little bit smaller and she had folded it in half and decorated the outside, maybe put a little pocket on the outside. And then here she had folded like maybe some of this paper we could fold in half and glued one and then that fold came over and she made like a little closure for the um, fold over flap and put pockets on the inside of that. Then she had a stacked up layered um, set of pockets on this side. So that's what I'm thinking I'm going to do. And I do believe I'm just going to cut this cardstock down where when I fold this up, it will just be a little bit bigger than this. So I can maybe just mat this, maybe. We'll see. Um, I'll go ahead and cut this end off, that little branding strip. Okay, and then when I fold it in half, see that's a little too tall for me. So I want to get my bigger trimmer. And cut that. Oh, and um, for anybody that did not see my week one, two, and three of my freebies this month, I will um, tag those videos, link those videos in the description box below so you can find them more easily. Let's go with six and a quarter, I think. Just a little bit taller. Okay. So then when I fold this in half, and I go to put that on. That will be matted really well. So I'm looking at, yeah, I think I want to leave it that wide. So we're looking at six and three eighths, six and three eighths by 11. And I'm going to round all of my corners on this. And then fold it in half. Yeah, I did not realize I had damaged my cuticle so much that <laughs> I, I had a boo-boo, as Erin would have called it years ago. Get my bone folder, increase that fold really well. So now you've got just a little plain start of a book, it looks like. And then I want to get some of this paper and go ahead and do my fold out on this side. And I'm really loving that paper. I think what I'm going to do is just fold this in half. It's going to be skinnier than what that is, and that's fine with me. Get my bone folder again. Round those corners. Yes, and then I will glue that down, just three sides, so that I still have a pocket, because here is, you see, there I'll have plenty of room. So I'll have a pocket there, and then we'll put pockets on the inside here also. So that's my first two. And then we'll do like a slanted, stacked pocket on this side. I'm going to go ahead and ink everything that I've already got cut and ready and be right back. 
All right, I have inked around the edges of my base and then inked around this. And for the front of it, all I did was get a little scrap piece from my paper pad. And this is two and a half inches wide by about one inch tall. And I just glued on three sides after I inked it. And of course now you can hear the helicopter flying very low over our house. <laughs> All of a sudden, when I hit the record button, yay! Um, and I just did that to house one of these little tiny tags that came in the kit. I love that little tag and I wanted to showcase it. Um, now I'm going to, you know, this folded piece that I showed you before, it's going to get glued down three sides here so that I can have a tuck right there. So let's go ahead and do that. And that can be drying. And then I'll give you the dimensions of our little stacked pockets that's going to go on the opposite side. So three sides and we're going to go down the folded edge and top and bottom. And then you just find middle or close to it as far as top and bottom of your base. and hold that down and you might have glue squirt out it's fine you can mop that up with a messy rag get mine right quick I've got some over here and at the top here to mop up all right now with that down there I'll have that tuck space there and we'll make something to go in that we've still got to make some things to go inside here but let's go ahead to this side and what I'm going to do is get my ribbons out of the way first oh and on that pocket I used my collage paper and cut out one of the butterflies and put it on the front of that pocket there all right for um, if you're going by my exact dimensions and you need the measurements, here are my measurements for my side pockets that's going to get stacked. This is, let's see, the taller one is um, five and a quarter wide, 5.25 inches wide by four and three quarters tall. So four and three quarters tall, 4.75 inches tall by five and a quarter or 5.25 wide and then the other piece is just a little bit shorter so same width 5.25 inches by four inches tall okay and I wrote there but this is going to be my top and you'll see why in just a moment I don't want that showing on the front of my pocket and I am going to instead of just two plain straight across pockets on this side I'm going to give it a little slant so I'm going to go from the outside here and go down just a little bit and give it a slant toward that way and then this one will go the opposite way I'm not going to go too deep so I'm just going to position the paper where this corner is here and then I've got a little bit more paper see at a slant that way and that's all I'm going to do just give it a little bit of a slant all right and then this one's going to go on top of this one I'm going to flip it over so that I can cut my numbers off this one's going to go at a slant this way and I might go just a little bit deeper with this one than I did that one but I'm just going to go the opposite way for this one so the point's going to be right at my blade edge and then just a little deeper that way and so then I have two pockets that will stack and they're you know kind of slanted either way. I am using the Scorched Timber, brand new from Tim Holtz, that oxide ink. 
for my inking on this project, I'm going to go just down top and edges on that one. And I'll glue that down on the three sides. And then on this one, I'll go all the way around because all of that one will be seen. All right, first one is glued down. And then second one, same thing, just around three edges, bottom and sides. Leave the top alone. And, you know, drive a straight line of glue. I can't. I know you can do better than me, and that's fine. Okay, and then I'm just going to stack this one right on top of the other one. So there are my stacked pockets <clears throat> on that side of the project. And I believe I will put, since we're a little naky right here, even though we're going to put stuff in these pockets, I think I'll use one of these acetate um, pieces to put up there just to decorate it. And I love that piece, so I'm just going to put a little bit of glue on the bottom edges that's going to be tucked back behind that pocket. And glue that down, so that's kind of peeking out of there. And then I will put probably one of these big butterflies on the front here, maybe with a leaf back behind it from the acetate pack. That is so pretty. Love me some butterflies. Mm, that one looks just like the one I've put up there. So let's look for something a little different. I love that leaf and I'm going to use that there. And then I'm going to cut this big butterfly here out to put along this area to cover up the bottom of the branch. Okay, I decided to go this route with Brave Wings She Flies just to cover up some of that vine. I'm not going to ink around this butterfly because I like how it looks as is. The paper that the collage paper that these are on is not a plain white paper. It's kind of a newsprint kind of paper, so I like that. And I'm just going to leave it as is with no inking and I'm just barely putting a little bit of glue back behind that acetate so maybe it will stick down but um, you won't be able to see too much of glue which this glue dries clear so I'm not too worried about it so there are my decorations for those two pockets so now we need to make some things to go inside these pockets in this tuck space here. And then we need to make our pockets for the outside here and decorate the front of our folio. All right, so I have uh, an idea of what I want on the inside of our flip flap here. And then what I want to do on the back side of the tuck part of it. So let's start there. This little piece I have cut five inches by four and a quarter inches, 4.25 inches. And it's going to go back behind here. But like any tight tuck space, you're going to have a little resistance unless you want to just cut it way down and I don't want to cut it down any further than I've already got it. So what I'm going to do is put me a little tab on the edge to help me get it pulled in and out. And I'm going to use that purple cardstock that came in the kit. And I'm going to use this tab punch that we have in the shop from EK Success. It's a file tab punch. I love that one. I love my whale tail also, but I really, really like this one too. So I'm going to ink around 
the edges of that tab with my scorch timber just like I've already done with this and then I've got a design on the back of this so I want that to be when you pull it out you can journal on it or whatever put a picture there and the moth or butterfly or whatever it is <laughs> is the right way up so just make sure of that if you're using one of the pages from the kit that is directional okay and I'm just going to go center as possible I mean I'm not measuring if you want to get out your ruler go for it I'm not going to be too particular on that and then with that tab punch I try to just get the little humps on the edge <laughs> at the very edge of what I'm putting it on and I think I'll put a little word phrase on that too <clears throat> maybe oh this little short one here it's called be brave or says be, be be brave put that one there and then I'll go ahead and slide that all the way back cute I love little tuck spaces too too cute um, over here I just went ahead and the tags that I had from my kit that were tall enough just went ahead and put those in those two pockets the stack pockets we made over there then for this spot I want some journaling space and I'm going to use some scrap papers and um, book pages that's got some blank spaces and put them in this and it's going to be um, a little journal pad so I have cut a piece of cardstock from the kit um, at 3.75 inches by 7 inches long okay and then I scored it at 1 and 3 eighths inches so if you need a screenshot of that 3.75 or 3 and 3 quarter inches by 7 inches and then score it at 1 and 3 eighths inches and that score is going to be your fold over and then I've got my papers and I have about I would say 8 8 to 10 scrap pieces of paper cut down that I'm going to add in here and something I am going to do I am not going to um, glue down this back piece I want that to be kind of like a little hidden tuck spot if we want it in the future so what I am going to do here is see if my Tim Holtz tiny attacher will go through this and then I will just glue the top on here so let's see it might be too thick but we're going to see and I'm going to go up up tall oh no it went through good good we're good and then I'm just going to do that three times two on the edge and one in the center and I do not care that they're not exactly perfectly lined up and then I'll just measure where I want that where the staples are on the back that we just did I'm going to put some glue if you want to use score tape, double sided tape that would work just as well, maybe even better and then you're just going to make sure that you're not going over the flap, the fold over here and you're just going to press down so you don't want too many papers in here because then that will make your um, flip flap here a little too thick and it won't close properly so see now I've got it it's going to close fine but it is going to pack my mouth out just because it's got some volume over here but I'm fine with that okay press all that down and then I will probably get um, a butterfly or something from my collage papers and decorate 
here just because it needs something, I believe. I'll do this little tiny one here. And now for this side, I believe I'm going to use an envelope that I had tea dyed back last year and forgot all about them. I was um, looking through all of my book pages and things, little invoice sheets, and saw this and decided, hmm, okay, I'll use that for something. So I'm looking through here because my little invoices. This one went a little womper jawed, but I'm okay with that. It's fine. I can still journal on it. I love how um, that was one of the large family tea bags that I just laid on the envelopes. And I love how that turned out. So I want that to show at the top. I want this just to be a long, tall pocket. So I'm going to um, cut the top and the bottom because I need the top open for the pocket. I need the bottom um, cut to um, size. And then the back, all of this back is just going to get glued down. I'm not going to need the original opening of the envelope. So I'll glue all of that down. Even the existing flap will get glued down. Okay, then... I want as much of this as possible to show. So I'm just going to barely snip off the top there just so I have an opening and I do. And then the bottom I need to trim it I'm just using my fingernail to make a little mark and I'll give you that dimension in just a momento you're going to see the top of my head sorry okay that is five and Three fourths by two, three, four, three and five eighths. So just cut it down to where you need it. Okay, and then I'm just going to run some glue. I didn't make a flap, anything like that. It's fine. I'm just going to run a little line of glue right there just to close up the bottom. And I'm going to push the glue that way so it doesn't go up into my pocket. Okay, so then there's my long tall pocket and I'm just going to glue that all over the back. And then this piece of collage paper is very cute, but I'm not going to use it on any of my decoration for this. So I'm going to fold it in thirds and have it kind of look like an envelope. It's got a little top flap on it, just so that it fits down in this envelope pocket easily. I'm going to have to hold it up, make sure of where my envelope pocket is. All right, and then I'll have to trim off, or will I? I'm kind of okay with that sticking out. I don't know. Yeah, let's trim just a tad bit of it off. Let's just go 
where a little bitty bit of it is sticking out instead of that much. There we go. So it's just barely sticking out over the top now. We can easily pull that out without problem. I love my little tag tail sticking out of the top. So there is most all of the inside done. I think I will add on I think this is going to go on my outside just because I love it. It's so pretty with some of the butterflies from the collage paper. Um, to decorate the outside of this I think I will add, since there's nothing really going on right here, I think I'll add a pocket there as well. This folio is going to have lots of journaling space and lots of pockets. And it's miniature. Sorry, I had to put up that punch. It's miniature, so oh, I like that. I don't want anything too dark because... I'm going to cut out another little butterfly of some kind and put on the outside of that because I got a lot of the butterfly stuff. So I want to add that and I think I'll round the bottom edges of this. And then what I'm going to do is just measure so that Oh, somebody's pulled up in our driveway. Sorry. Okay, you can stop. I heard them. Thank you. Thank, no, no. Thank you. Thank you. Anybody that does not know, that's Lila or Yorkie. She's three and a half pounds, and she's a ferocious beast. I'm just saying. Um, <laughs> oh, my word. And anybody wearing earbuds just then. So sorry. <laughs> Totally apologize. Lila. Lila. Come here. Come here. You come here. Hush. No, no. Come here. You come here and get by me. Come here and get by me. Thank you. You just stay right there. You stay right there. All right. So what I'm going to do. No, you come here. Is I'm going to leave the mat of that um, envelope in the background because I still want you to be able to see that. And I'm going to put that pocket on there and round these bottom corners. And probably put a little notch right there too. So just measure it to your liking. I'm going to do... <laughs> this, she's just ferocious. She is ferocious. I'm going to do mine at... Three and three eighths by two and three quarters. So two and three quarters is the height. Oh, excuse me, is the height. <laughs> ah. And three and what did I say? Three eighths is the width round the bottom corners and then get my little beady one inch circle punch and make myself just a tiny little notch in that and sorry I have to move the camera every time I put something on my shelf above it so it makes my camera go wobble, wobble, wobble. Ink around. And then this is light enough that if I want to put a butterfly on there, I can. Oh, yeah, that's pretty. I like that. Oh, look, it's a howl now. All right. So... I only thought that crafting while my children were toddlers was hard. Um, no. <laughs> I have scaredy cat up here. 
because she won't stop barking. Because somebody's coming through the door. It's her papa. Come here, papa, and get her. <laughs> All right, then we're going to glue around. Look, I've got scratch marks. <laughs> oh, baby. She is a great guard dog, that is for sure. Nobody can come up to our house unless we know about it because she's going to tell us all about it. I'm going to put this pocket on. Now we've got a nice pretty little pocket on the top of our envelope pocket, the long tall envelope pocket there. And then I'm going to cut out Oh yeah, I've got enough room. I didn't think I was gonna be able to use this big butterfly, moth, whatever it is here. But I do believe that that pocket is wide enough. It sure is. So I'm gonna cut this out and glue it on top of this pocket we've made. Okay, so there's that pocket, and we've got our tags all throughout. I'm really loving this so far. Now all we got to do is decorate the front. And I do believe I will put this collage paper on the back, just glue it down and not have any pocket or anything on the back. I'm not one that likes um, a lot of stuff on the backs of my projects because they're mostly just going to be um, laying down anyways or put into a shelf. And of course you want the front decorated, but I'm not one that has to have the back decorated as much. So I'm going to take off these white edges and then just measure out where I need to trim it and I'm going to round those front two corners. So I wanted that pattern on the front just because I love it. And I love the um, Butterick wording up here. Not too fond of this part. Um, so I think I'm going to make myself a little tuck space like that. And I will just cut it at a diagonal. I thought about tearing it, but this has not been that much of a grungy project, so I don't think I will tear it per se. I think I will. Cut it like that at a diagonal. And I had already um, rounded my corner right there. And so that lines up well. You still see all of the nice little patterns there. I think I will round that. Should have known that wasn't going to work because I had a point instead of a a really sharp point instead of a corner. I'll just do my own rounding on those and ink that up. And then yeah, that is going to go on like a tuck, so I'm just going to glue it down on three sides.
like that and then we'll have a space there to tuck some stuff in if we want to I'm just folding in thirds a piece of the collage paper and seeing how much of that would need to be cut off for that tuck. Yeah, it's a little too too tall. But inside here it's not. So that's another thing I was talking about with this not being glued down. You could tuck some stuff if it's not too tall back there. I like that. I'm going to cut off a portion of that. And back behind our little flap here, I'm going to tuck that. And it's going to stay easily as more journaling space. And then we've just got to figure out what we want to put inside this tuck space. Okay, I've cut two tag shapes that I'm going to put in this front tuck space. I'm going to ink around them with the scorched timber. I'm going to use my acetate pieces and I'm going to staple on butterflies as my tag toppers. So at the top of this one, it is big and I like it. I like big butterflies and I cannot lie. Oh, man. Oh, I love that. I love it. The butterfly showing out. Um, if you want pattern on the front and not just the plain purple cardstock, you can do it like that. That looks better, I think. And then any of the um, spaces where you might think it is a little naky, you can use the little gems that you got. So on the front, I would definitely use those just because, I mean, it's not two dimensional. Put a little purple one down there in the corner and then maybe even one on each one of these butterflies would be really cute. As part of their little body, and you could cover up some of the um, staple doing that. And then your little nouveau drops, you can make little dots with it, you can make a design with it, you can doodle with it, um, whatever you would like. See, like on this piece right here. I think some little Nouveau drops would be cute. Just a little dot. Making a little row. And then of course, yes, you have to wait for it to dry. But they're very cute. 
real kind of pearlesque looking. So we've got one, two, three, six, one, two, three, four, five, six on each side. And you can get your heat tool and hurry that along some if you want to. And no matter how you put them on, they round out so easily and so pretty. I want to show you that. Let me pull you up and get you focused in good. And you can look at, see how rounded they get? Because when I put them on, they were quite pointy. <laughs> and then they dry and they're very rounded. So it kind of looks like um, the little pegs that you would put in the furniture in the old days, you know, to keep it upholstered, to upholster it to keep the fabric in place. So I think those Nouveau drops are cute like that, but you can do anything you want with them. Um, like I said, you can make designs and all kinds of stuff like that. And um, just when it dries, it's gonna puff up just a little bit. I think this, darling, too cute. So, anyway, that is, whoops, <laughs> I forgot to move you back. There we go, now we're all nice and clear. So that is our flip-flop folio made from the March E-Club kit, and um, it's got plenty of journaling, plenty of pockets, and I love how it turned out. If you have any questions, uh, measurements, things like that, let me know. But I have everything documented throughout the video. But anyway, hope y'all enjoyed it. If you make it, tag me so I can find it and leave you some love. Y'all have a great day. I'll see you in the next video. God bless. Bye y'all.